welcome to my first recording. Uh, technically, it's not really my first recording of my channel, but this is the first recording of me commenting inside the game. Uh, I actually did this five minutes ago, and I already made a few mistakes. I got the resolution wrong. I didn't actually have it on full screen, and I didn't actually have it on subtitles. Uh, what a do? Anyhow, this is a Telltale's game by the title Game of Thrones, Episode Five: The Nest of Vipers. If you never play a game, uh, a tale, but, uh, I can't even speak properly. If you never play a Telltale game before, this is actually a story adventure based kind of game, which most of the time the game would you play itself by running through the story and scenes, which is really fun. And you actually choose make a couple of choices, uh, which may actually lead to a good ending or a bad ending. Uh, but you'll see for yourself. But like I say, this game is sort of like a story-based adventure which you run to the scene itself. So sit back, enjoy yourself, grab yourself um, uh, some snacks, uh, chips, nuts, drink, and enjoy. I'll try to break the game into a few parts, so rather than leading you to just sit on the couch for an hour-ish, or some people actually can do that, or some people can't, and I'll try to make it probably about 15 to 20 minutes uh, break, and watch it in your leisure. And let me know if you like it or not. Right, let's get this started. Previously on Game of Thrones. You'd help the second sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Get them into the city. Help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. No, oh, I'm uh, I'm a friend. Don't move. This is my sister, Sylvie. I have to get in there, Sarah. Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family, and someone in there is helping him. Andros is hiring cell swords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. I want you to keep an eye on everyone. You never know who you can trust. I'll... I'll do my best. Rodri! I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. I was just telling your sister. Father's been looking to make a match for me. And Talia's been such good company. Think she likes me? Or maybe your mother? A flower plucked is still a flower. Just dies more quickly. We could be a family, Lord Forrester. You'd like that, wouldn't you? You'll never marry either of them. Never's such an awfully long time. But let's put our happy day to the side for a moment. Walk with me. Oh. You won't need your sword. Not where we're going. Uh, um, I'll keep this I'm not going without my sword. I'm afraid you are. Here, I'll help you. <laughs> there. <sighs> Doesn't that feel better? Nope. Oh, you're coming too. This is Lord's business, not a child's. I say she comes. I don't trust her.
How fares your father, Lord Bolton? Better than yours. <laughs> Polite of you to ask. I loved playing in the woods when I was your age. Still do? So many places to hide. I've gotten very good at finding people. Roderick? It's all right, Talia. That reminds me. Where's Griff? I expected to be greeted by him on my arrival. Bit of a disappointment to have to show myself in. And here I had such high hopes for Ludson. Griff and his men are under guard. They have no place here. They do if I say they do. Oh, I really hoped things might be different with you. I hoped we could be friends. After all, I was generous. I've allowed you to keep half your forest. Your livelihood. Yet you went behind my back and called in the Glenmores. I'm not sure how you managed that. The Glenmores have sworn their loyalty to my father. Lady Elena Glenmore is our guest. The soldiers accompanied her to ensure her safety. If her safety is a concern, perhaps she should not have come to Ironrath. Well, I'm certainly glad we've sorted this out. Thank you for being so forthcoming. But there's still a price. Ah, here we are. Arthur! Roderick! You disobeyed me. You disrespected me. Someone has to pay! You didn't think it would be you, did you? Arthur's done nothing wrong! If you want to hurt someone, hurt me! No, Roderick! Why bother? You're nearly a corpse already. <laughs> no! Stop! <laughs> Look at what you've done! I hope it was worth it. Is it worth it, Arthur? Please! Talia, don't look away. No! It's very important you see what comes of disobedience. Roderick, uh, uh, make him stop! Please, do something! Uh, don't look. Please. Look at him, Talia. See what your brother's done. Please, please, Lord Rosie. Sorry, but they'll never learn otherwise. <laughs> mercy, have mercy! Mercy, my lord! Did Roderick show mercy to Griff? This is his fault. That's a lot of blood. <laughs> You're right. This is my fault. I told you, Talia. <laughs> All lads fainted. Let's give him a minute. <laughs> you want to kill me, don't you? Release him. Go on. Prove how strong you are. Do it for Ethan. No, Roderick. He's toying with you. Don't. Come on, Roderick. I'll give it a try. Kill me! I'm impressed. Woo! I knew that wasn't Lucky gonna happen. for me, you're a cripple. I may have misjudged you, Roderick. I came here to kill you. But now, I'm thinking it might be far more entertaining to watch you and Lud tear each other to pieces. I never want to come back to this fucking shit stain of a whole fast. I have better things to do than to play wet nurse to you and Lud. So you'll settle this on your own. Last house standing wins. Otherwise I'll kill you both and be done with it. You're insane. At least I'm not you. And one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> 
Holy oh. shit. Can't leave a job half finished. Oh. Ready the horses. Not sure you'll have much luck finding other allies. such a thing. The Boltons will pay for this. Innocent blood shed on forest and lands. What would father think? Like I say, I'll try not to talk too much in this game, because as you can see, the game actually plays itself. Come on, look at it. All we've been through must the gods continue to shit on this house. What have we ever done to them? Follow the Starks? Obey the rule of law? This is my fault. If I hadn't agreed to Elena's plan. This is Ramsay Snow's doing, no one else's. You start thinking otherwise, you'll go mad. The Glenmore Guard are gone. Ordered home by Ramsay. So much for having allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means to let the strongest house survive. I intend that to be us, Royland. You'll get no argument from me. But how do we bloody fight them? We just don't have the numbers. Not yet, anyway. Right now, everything depends on Asher. Once yeah, he and Malcolm bring us more fighting men, then Where we... is he? Where is my brother? My lady. My lady. Let me through! Elena. Roderick, tell me where he... Oh, no. 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 Oh, no. No, Arthur, no! Arthur! It's my fault. I brought him into this. I asked him to help. I'm so sorry, Elena. I know how much he meant to you. He meant everything, Roderick. He was my little brother. 
I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. He was so nervous, the father called him Quiver. And now to die, like this, tortured, mutilated. Ramsay Snow did this. He's a madman. Ramsay was here because of you, Roderick. If we hadn't been your allies. Elena. I'm sorry. Someplace, well. How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? Where do I find the strength? You can't help the dead. So care for the living. For me, that's Ryan, Talia, Mira, and you. Roderick. You've been such a friend to me, Roderick. Right from the very beginning. I should try to get some sleep. I'm not sure I'll be able to. But I don't know what else to do. You're not alone, Elena. I'm here for you, whatever you need. Thank you, Roderick. seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you... Never mind. Mira, I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk, defying Marjorie to get you into that feast, and you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros in front of everybody. Marjorie saw, of course, and she knew exactly how you got there. I'm sorry about that. I, I really did try to be discreet. But you couldn't, could you? Because you're in over your head. I know it. And Marjorie knows it. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. What? Mira, you're not the girl I knew at Highgarden. She'd never be so reckless. And now, with Garibald refusing to talk to me, I just can't risk being associated with you. Not anymore. Marjorie is my only protection without him. Sarah, you can't mean this. I have too few friends in King's Landing as it is. I'm sorry. I really am. But I just can't anymore. Was it worth it, at least? Sacrificing so much for your family. Nothing's worth losing your friendship over, Sarah. I would have said the same thing, once. They'll be very grateful. Better go before she sees me. She'll be Forrester. You? you need to come with me. Now. Why would I? Don't make this difficult. Right, I'll pause it there for part one. So this will be part 1, so look forward to part 2. Comment down below if you should make any different choices. Um, question of the day. Would you actually stab Ramsey? Right, I'll see you guys in part 2. Take care!